Hello and welcome to Arthur Place. This is Holiday Espionage Action Adventure. Merry Kids Talk. Secret Santa. As you can probably guess, it's a, it's a Christmas parody of Metal Gear Solid. Let's get right into it. Oh, I'm Santa Claus. <gasps> oh no! Nick, it's been a long time. Tiny Tim. Oh, they stopped calling me that 20 years ago. Just Tim will do. 20 years? Yes, it's been 20 years Ugh. since the Ebenezer Eve incident. The world has changed. Ebenezer so. Eve? Military surveillance crafts okay. have been circling the skies in a response to the 9-11 attacks six years ago. That's why it's far too risky to let you deliver the presents the traditional way. The traditional way? We can't risk having you spotted soaring through the sky on a sleigh. With the nation on high alert as it is, there's far too great of a chance you'll be branded a national threat. So that's why I'll be delivering gifts by foot, I presume. Precisely. This is a top secret covert mission. From this point on, we'll be referring to each other by code names. My code name will be Major Tim, and yours, Nick, will be Solid Santa. Solid Santa? Has a nice ring to it. So what's the mission? Your mission is to infiltrate this house and to deliver the presents you've got in your sack to the Christmas tree, located on the topmost floor. Sounds easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Most people are asleep at this hour, but a couple of naughty naughty children might be wandering around trying to get a peek of their presents before what? morning. So okay, okay so cooler, let me get this right. right. No. The reason Santa Claus else, a is doing a stealth you must mission not be game discovered or the mission will be a is failure. because do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field. 9/11 has put easier. everyone on high alert and if tools you find in the house. In flying I'll be people will advice find this plane and a terrorist and he'll be shot down. All right. Commencing Operation Secret Santa. Okay. Well, why not? I guess. Shall we? I can equip. You can make distraction by hugging the wall and pressing control. Major, I've made it into the house. Yeah, it looks clear. I'm just gonna run for it. Everybody's gotta be asleep. Santa, wait. You want to make sure you aren't running into a trap. Walk up to a wall and press the arrow key towards it. You should start to hug the wall. By hugging the wall, you can see what's up ahead. Hugging walls? What is this? Happy fun land? Right, so let's keep an eye on this kid. Oh shit. Santa Claus! Mommy, does that exist? No! Santa Claus! God damn it! Hey kids. Alright. Alright, so where does that kid go? Alright. That seems easy enough. Now the kid didn't... Follow me. Put all these kids here. Okay, so the field of vision isn't actually that broad. Oh god. Crap. Santa, what's wrong? There's a guy blocking a really narrow hallway, and it's so annoying because I can't get past him. 
What am I supposed to do? Disappear into fat air? Oh, relax. Try distracting him by fat making air, noise. He's Santa Claus, to the wall and press the control key. The kid will investigate the sound, so try to slip past him while he's not looking. It's the old switcheroo. What are you talking about? That kind of trick only works on five-year-olds. Santa, the first rule of the battlefield is to know your enemy. Only then can you fully understand how to overcome it. What are you trying to say? That the trick will work because they are five-year-olds. Oh, right. <laughs> huh? What was that? Derp derp derp, stupid kid. Alright, now this one's impossible. I know there's no easy way past this one. Santa, did you already forget about your Christmas spirit? My what now? Your Christmas spirit. It's like telekinesis, except a lot less useful because it's limited to turning on televisions. Wait, what? Simply that you possess the power to turn on a television just by thinking it. To do this, move your mouse cursor over any television set on the map. You can turn it on by clicking on it. Any children with an earshot of the television will automatically turn towards it. Nothing can resist the magnetic pull of the television screen. This is amazing. There's got to be a catch. Well, the thing is, you can't turn them off. A five-year-old child has the attention span of a goldfish. And unless you can change what's happening on screen, he'll lose interest in a couple of seconds. And I'm guessing I can't change channels, huh? Afraid not. What a useless power. Okay, so I just, I just click on the TV. Oh! Well. Huh? What was that? Just my imagination. Ah, the bitch! The arch! Oh, here's a present over there. Santa, it looks like you found a new item. Yeah, but it's just a gift box. I got plenty of those in my sack. Oh, that's no ordinary gift box. What do you mean? That gift box has air holes. Air holes? That's right. That gift box was specially designed for wearing. Wearing? Yes. By holding the shift key, you can access the inventory. From the inventory, select the gift box item to put it on. Once you've equipped an item, you can tap the shift key to quickly put away or take out the item. What good is wearing a gift box on my head gonna do? It's a disguise. As long as you're not moving, you'll look like an ordinary gift box so the children won't take notice of you. Wait, aren't children attracted to gift boxes? Well, that particular gift box is full of bombs. It's full of bombs? If you believed it is, would you approach it? No. Then yes, it's full of bombs. That doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. They're five-year-olds. They'll believe anything. So I just... I... Okay. Why not? Go. I really like the graphics for this game though. This is... This is really awesome. Goodbye. God damn it. Wait, don't take another step. You're gonna set off an alarm. Who are you? Let's just say I'm your number one fan. Call me Santa's little helper. Santa's little helper? How do I know I can believe what you're saying? You don't have to believe anything, but if you want to get out of this mission unnoticed, you don't have much of a choice. So maybe it's just best if you believe what I say. Well, seeing is believing, and I don't see any alarm systems here, so I don't believe a single thing you're saying, either. If you can only believe in the things that you can see, you're gonna be a very unhappy man. What do you mean? Well, can you see gravity? 
No, but... Well, if you can't see gravity, you wouldn't believe in it. And if you don't believe in it, you'd be floating around. But you're not. And since you don't believe in it, but you're not floating, you're just being a hypocrite. And nobody likes hypocrites. And so nobody's gonna like you. And that's why you're gonna be a very unhappy man. That's yes, like... Right. Okay. Kindergarten level I logic, but okay, fine. Good. <laughs> believe it. This alarm Whatever. system is set to go off if you touch its infrared laser beam. The beam is invisible to the human eye. So how am I supposed to get past it? I'll let you figure that out by yourself. For someone named Santa's little helper, you sure don't help that much. I'm a little helper, not a big one. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! Wait, so... Crap. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? Santa oh. Claus! Santa I Claus! See. Like... Santa Claus! Mommy, Crap. does that exist? No! Santa Claus! God damn it! I hate you, kid! I hate you! Why are the kids looking for Santa Claus? Hopefully he'll just walk past me. Yeah, he will. Alright. Goodbye. God damn it, kid. Hey, kid. Santa, it looks like you found a candy cane. Yeah, but what's so special about a candy cane? That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. Seas Candies. That's right. That particular candy cane is a Seas Candies brand candy cane. Since it's from Seas Candies, naturally it will help you see. What? Didn't someone warn you of a laser security system that was invisible to the human eye? You're telling me that eating this candy will help me see those lasers? Only if you believe it can. What's all this baloney about believing? What if I don't believe? Well, then this entire mission will have been for nothing. What? Santa. The most important thing about Christmas is believing. You cannot- I don't have time for this. I am confused. But the good kind of confused. Oh! It's like the smoking system. <laughs> this is so dumb! This is so freaking dumb! I love it! Alright. <laughs> Lord Gabe, you have me enticed. That is amazing. <laughs> this is a free game, you guys, so if you guys want to play this game, it's uh That is entirely possible. Metal gear! Mary Gear! <laughs> Alright, next story. This is a big ass house! Uh oh. Look, a lump of coal. Some kid is gonna be very upset in the morning. Did you just step in a pile of coals? Yeah, why? You're going to leave behind footprints? No. Why'd you have to step on the coals anyway? Giving out coals is my job. I'm the only one that's allowed to make children cry on Christmas. You're an idiot. But you'd better get out of there and fast. The children will follow your footsteps. Wait. Now the children are gonna try and steal my job? I said follow your footsteps, not follow in your footsteps, you idiot. You're getting a lump of coal this Christmas. <laughs> Go! 
God damn it. Santa Claus? No. Santa Claus! Oh my God. Who was that? Oh crap. Who decided to put so many fucking alarms around? Crap 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 crap. Santa Claus! Santa Claus? No. Santa Claus! Really? I hate five-year-olds. Actually, I don't. But still, not cool, five-year-old kid. Right. Good. Keep him distracted. The camera! Santa, it looks like you found a nice digital camera. What good is a digital camera on a stealth machine? Well, you can use the flash as a distraction. That's brilliant. How do you come up with this stuff? When I get bored, I think of ways to annoy children. Really? <laughs> no. No. Oh. But how am I supposed to take photos of them without being seen? That camera is equipped with a remote control that can activate it from anywhere in the same area. Press the control key to place the camera. Once it's set, press the control key again to set off the flash. This will blind anyone within sight of the flash. However, you can only use the camera six times in one area. Why? Film. Oh, gotcha. Keep in mind that if a guard sees a digital camera, he will go investigate it. If a guard happens to touch a digital camera, it will automatically go off. What are we going to do with the pictures when the mission is over? I'm sure I can figure something out. What? What? Did you just imply child porn pornography? Uh... Santa, it looks like you found a Nerf gun. Yeah, but what good is a Nerf gun on a stealth mission? Well, it's a specially modified Nerf gun with tranquilizer bullets. What? Once you have the Nerf gun equipped, hold the control key to aim. You can change your direction while aiming, and you can see a little further up ahead as well. To fire a dart, let go of the control key. Keep in mind that you've got a limited quantity of darts. What happens when I run out? Well, your darts get refilled every time you enter a new area. Wait a second. That's completely unrealistic. Are you seriously complaining about realism in a game about Santa Claus? Wait, what are you implying? Nothing. Bye. Santa Claus! God Santa damn it! And the game stopped working. Well, it's a free game, guys. So, uh... Go check it out. Go check out... Uh, Merry... Merry Christmas, Santa's... Um, Merry Gear Solid. And, uh... I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll join next time for more shenanigans. Until then... Bye!